So if you find yourself caught in a situation where you are getting closer to someone and or to a partner who seems to struggle with intimacy stuff, um, and then they kind of ghost you or they disappear or they breadcrumb you, which is sometimes the language that is used. It's, it's typically because when we have been over the course of our lives constructing and erecting barriers to intimacy, then it's usually because at some point in our lives, intimacy was unsafe that being connected in that way meant that we were unsafe or for whatever reason, our attachment figures and the people that were supposed to protect us were actually also the source of threat in some way, whether it mean, whether it meant that that person was emotionally invasive, um, whether that means that there were conditions of love, which meant that unless you do this, I'm going to withhold my love from you. Um, or whether it meant that like you couldn't have angry feelings because then someone else would take personal offense, um, things like that, so sort of conditions of love. So um, typically what happens is, of course, within us, there is the desire for connected connection. And so when we find it, we become filled up with that. And we, the, the, I like to think of it as a form of expansion, but the whole of you, which would include your energy bodies and your soul and your essence and your inner being, all of that starts to expand when you see someone that calls parts of you into a state of alignment. Okay. Meaning that you see within someone aspects of yourself, what, what psychodynamic theorists might call your ego ideal, but you see those admired, admired traits and you, you feel them called, called up almost like, like it's their turn on stage. And there's something in this person that is holding a point of focus for you that is allowing you to access that part of yourself much more easily. And so you get that love feeling and there is an exchange there. But often what happens is we add more stuff onto the love feeling and the love feeling will necessarily start to um, shake loose the sort of layers of limiting beliefs and or fears that we've coded on top of it because the expression of that love feeling and or the need for and desire for that love feeling wasn't met when we were younger or it was met with a conflictual situation such as in the case of being attached to someone and needing the care of someone who's also a source of threat, right? So in, in this particular example, the question that I just read aloud, there was made mention that the intimacy with this person, this person was 28 and it was the first time they'd experienced physical intimacy. And then they kind of disappeared. Um, I don't know anything about this person, but I might venture to presume there may have been a violation of body boundaries in this person's past. And there may have been um, a trauma that occurred in their lives that they had erected certain boundaries around their physicality around their sexuality for such a period of time um, because it wasn't safe and so now that they have allowed some of those things to open up those not safe feelings are going to come up we talked about this a little bit yesterday when we talked about if you may be experiencing more avoidant kind of attachment style that when you start to move towards um, accessing your feelings, probably what the first feeling that's going to come up is anxiety because you're finally allowing for and softening into something that was scary, that you experienced as scary at one time. And so part of, part of being willing to go into that anxiety and being willing to sit with it and, and, and discover your um, threshold of tolerance for that, because it's not all going to happen at once. It's going to be a process. It's going to be a practice. But start a, part of stepping into that is, is one of the things we've been talking about on this channel lately, which is identifying the underlying desire. Because if you can align yourself with the desire instead of the fear, then you can start moving towards the expression of that desire rather than always being hypervigilant about running away from whatever you're fearful of.